Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this simple password locked door. Now I've built many of these in the past, now I'd have to say that this is the most simplest one and it is a good contraption to build in the pocket edition, but can also be built in all other versions of Minecraft too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of paper named Cheese into this hopper here, so I'm going to open up I'm going to just chuck one of them into the hopper there and you'll notice that the door has now opened. So I can go over to this other side, press this button here twice and then we'll get our piece of paper back and then if you want to get back through the door simply press this button here, the door will open for a couple of seconds and then you can get back through. Now just to prove that this is a password locked door, we have one piece of paper here named Cheese but we have one normal piece of paper just named its default name. If I go ahead and I put this into this hopper here, you'll notice that it just stays in the hopper there and doesn't go anywhere. So that means it is an incorrect password. Before I go ahead and show you guys how to build this, I just want to let you know of a new project that I'm working on for my website. Now what it is, is it's basically a database of all my Redstone tutorials. Now the cool thing about it, let's say you're a beginner at Redstone, you'll be able to actually sort all my videos by difficulty. So you'll be able to do all the easy ones first, and once you've completed them, you'll be able to go into more harder Redstone tutorials. So if you want to learn more, click on the card right now, and that will take you to a video of my current progress on the project. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to build this now. So the materials you're going to need is three redstone dust, two redstone torches, one redstone repeater, two redstone comparators, two droppers, three hoppers, two wooden buttons, or you can get stone if you really want to, one iron door, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is dig a 4x4x2 four by four by deep hole, so let's go ahead and do that now. So dig out one block, and then we're going to dig three to the right. Then at the end here, we're going to dig three forward, three to the left, and then back to the start here, and just dig out these center blocks. Then simply dig this down one more layer. Now the first thing that we are going to do is place down our door. So what you need to do first is get out your blocks of choice. Then you want to come to this front right corner here. We're then going to go two blocks ahead and then one block to the left. You want to jump and place two blocks down. And then on top of this block, we're going to place our door. Now make sure you face to the left when you place this, and then just simply place that down. Come back again to this bottom right corner. We're going to go one block ahead and dig this out. You then want to get your torch and place it on this back face of this block here. We're then going to get our droppers, and what you want to do is come to this back right corner here. We're then going to place two of these on top of each other. Now make sure you're crouching when you place these. So simply jump and then place them facing upwards like so. We're then going to get our hoppers and what you want to do is again make sure you're crouching. You want to place it going into this bottom dropper here, so one there. One going into this hopper here and then one on top. So the funnels should go down to that other hopper and then into that bottom hop dropper over here. Now get your comparator, and what we're going to do is place it coming out of this hopper here. Place it right there. Then we're going to lead that into our block. We're going to get out our redstone here. And we're going to place one in front of this block here. We're then going to dig out this block besides the beside the comparator, and then place your redstone down in that hole down there. Now come around the back. I'm going to place a redstone comparator coming out of this bottom dropper here. We're going to place a piece of redstone dust after that. Lead that into a block. Like so. We're then going to get a redstone torch, place it on the front face of this block here. Block on top. Block down here. And then get your redstone repeater and lead it into the block 
that your door is on, you should notice that it closes now. We're then going to get a block and place it on top of this redstone here. Get your button and then place it on top of that block. We're then going to place the other button on top of this dropper here. So make sure you're crouching, then place that down. Now that is the construction complete. What we're going to do now is just quickly test it out just to make sure that it is working. So if I was to throw a block, not into this hopper here, but this one down in the middle, the door should open and then it should close when we press this button here. And then you can collect that block we just threw in by opening up this dropper here and then taking it out. Now we need to configure it, so what you're going to need is 18 pieces of paper and 4 blocks of your choice. I've just gotten 4 cobblestone. You're going to want to get an anvil and then you want to open it up. And in here what you want to do is rename the 18 paper to the password that you want. So I'm just going to put the 18 paper in there. We're then going to set the password to cheese. Press done. And then simply, if I can do this, do that and we've renamed the paper. Now this is kind of the uh, bit more tedious bit. What you need to do is put one of the cobblestone in. You want to rename it to a random string of characters. So it's going to do some of that. We'll do some uppercase. You basically want this to be non-guessable, kind of like a password. And then what you want to do is simply take that item. And the reason behind this is because it splits up the cobblestone, but it also makes this whole kind of password door a lot cheaper. So do that again, rename this to something. We won't even bother get rid of it, we'll just put some random characters. And then just do this for the rest of them, make sure they're all unique. Now sorry about that last clip, I didn't know the navigation bar was up on the right side there. Must be a problem with MCPE Master. But now I'm back into the normal game. So what you need to do now is once you've renamed your paper and your four cobblestone, you need to go into this bottom hopper here open it up and then what you want to do is place in your 18 paper in the first slot and then in the remaining four slots place your four cobblestone now at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works so let's start with the hopper here so when you put in your piece of paper into this hopper here it will only go down if the item is a piece of paper that is named your password so in this case we have cheese now why we had to rename these four pieces of cobblestone to a random piece of string is because it's a whole lot cheaper plus it prevents cobblestone from being thrown in and also um, if we didn't actually do this we would have to create a much more different method than we do than we have here and it's a lot more complicated and it uses more um, resources so this is the most simplest payment system that you see right here so if a piece of paper that is named cheese goes through here it's going to go into this next topper here which then it's going to go into that bottom dropper now this comparator here is going to check if there's an item in that bottom dropper if there is it's going to send out a signal which then goes into this block over here powers off this torch powering off this redstone and then allows this door to come open and then once you come over this other side here when you press this button, it powers that bottom dropper, which sends it up to this top dropper. Now, if you want, you can press the button again, so you don't, open it, don't have to open up the inventory, but you can just um, grab it out of here if you want to. Also, I must mention back here, um, this detects here once there's actually 19 pieces of paper in here, is this will send out a signal strength of two. So right now it's only sending out one. Once it sends two, it's going to power this block here, unpowering this torch, allowing one of those pieces of paper to go through. This button here simply powers that redstone under it and does exactly the same as what this comparator does. Powers this block, unpowering this torch, allowing the door to be open so you can get out from the uh, locked side. So hopefully that explains how it works. Um, I try to do my best when explaining these and hopefully you guys learned something from it as well. But now you can go ahead and cover this up. So that is going to end off this redstone tutorial today. Let's go ahead and just quickly test this out. So um, if you're able to, you can throw the item in. But if you can't, um, simply just open up the uh, hopper here. Place the item in. And then the door will open. We can walk through. And then we can get our item back by going over to the other side. And then we'll just press that twice to uh, pop it out. We can pick it up again. Also remember to go ahead and check out that Redstone Tutorial Hub video I was talking about at the start. And uh, remember to hit that like button, show your support for this series. If you have any ideas 
let me know down in the comments below and subscribe to keep update with my latest tutorials. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye. And I'm going off to the side. And I'm going off to the side too.